Hello happy people, I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be doing a regular gel polish mani. I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this beautiful set on this hand. I'll be doing it on my right hand. Um, I'm going to be going in first with some Gayoi Peel Off Base Coat. I've already started it on my index and my middle finger, but I'm going to go ahead and apply it to the rest of my nails. And then once it's fully applied, I'm going to go ahead and cure. You guys, it's been forever since I've done a gel polish mani and I was in the mood for one had a quick meeting that I needed to go to so I decided to just I just decided not to worry about uh, trying to put on press-ons or full cover tips or anything like that and just sport my natural nails my natural shorties and so that's what I'll be showing you guys how to do in today's video so after it's secured after it's applied go ahead and cure for 60 So this is what the nails are looking like after that peel off base has been cured. Now I'm going to be going in with some gel polish from Enel Couture. This is their ombre gel and it's in the color B216 and I absolutely love Enel Couture gels. I'm sure you all have seen all of my super scoop, um, well not super scoops but all of my scoop unboxings. I've pretty much gotten every single scoop possible from Enel Couture. I've gotten the um, regular scoops, I've gotten different um, variations of it like at one point I got four scoops, at one point I got three scoops, at one point I got two, I even got single scoops. Then he came out with the color scoop, so then I got a color scoop, and then I got two super scoops, and I got one more single scoop. I'm all scooped out at this point. I don't even think I've gotten all of my scoop videos uploaded yet because I just got so many of them, but I have been absolutely loving his products. If you guys aren't aware, um, he makes some really great products. Um, so I'm going to leave that playlist down in the description box below in case you guys want to check it out. But after you're done applying your nail polish to your nails, you'll want to go in with a brush and just clean around the cuticle and the side walls. Just to make sure um, none of the gel is curing on your skin because um, that will cause lifting. So you want to make sure there's just a small gap in between your cuticle and your sidewall so that your gel polish does not lift. Um, everything looks good to me. I think, okay, there's one more spot there that I need to clean up. And after it looks good to you, you flip for 10 seconds to allow the gel to level. And then you'll go ahead and go in your lamp and cure for 60 seconds. And I decided to go ahead and do my thumb as well because I was in a rush. Um, so you'll see I just kind of flip my hands over every so often just to keep the gel level. Because also when you're doing your thumb, the gel is starting to move on your other finger. So you got to move pretty quick when you're doing your gel manis like this. I normally uh, cure my thumb separately. But again, I was pressed for time this day. So went ahead and got my thumb in as well. But again, flip for 10 seconds and then you'll cure for 60 seconds. Alrighty, so this is what one layer of gel polish looks like. I'm gonna go in with two coats of this gel polish. Um, it's so pretty. And by the way, another thing I love about this gel polish is that it glows in the dark oh my gosh i'll show you guys that towards the end of the video but now i'm just going in with the second layer of polish and again i'm just taking my time being real careful around the sidewalls and the cuticles just to make sure not to flood them and if you do um you know just make sure you go in and do the cleanup work before you um cure your nails and so yeah y'all let me know when was the last time y'all did a gel mani oh my gosh it's been forever and a day for me but i was excited to wear this set got tons of compliments and I loved it. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this second coat and then I'll be right back. Alrighty, so this is what two coats of the polish looks like. Um, now I'm gonna go in with Gayoi Top Coat. Um, and so I've really been enjoying products from this brand. But as you can see, this is the Top Coat. Um, I did use that same brand of Peel Off for this set as well. And yeah, I've just been absolutely loving their products. Um, quality is really good the consistency is really nice and it lasts a long time i've done a wear test with this uh no wipe top coat and i've gotten almost a month over a month wear no scratching um no dulling or anything like that so would highly recommend um, that top coat and it's really affordable on amazon i think it's like six dollars 6.99 for the base and top but this is what both of the hands are looking like completed and i'm going to go in with my young nails cuticle oil everything i'm using in today's video will be linked down in my description box and my amazon storefront i'm going to oil up my crusty cuticles y'all and then we're going to get into the finished look okay all right you guys 
Ain't she cute though? Yes, it has been forever since I've done a basic gel mani, you guys. I'm loving how this turned out. This is that BB gel. This is that ombre gel, BB216 from Eno Couture. And I'm excited because guess what it does, y'all? It glows in the dark. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have so much fun with these nails. My goodness, I've just been in the mood for some glow in the dark nails, so excited to have these. Oh my gosh, they're so cute! It's not even picking up on camera, like, I can still really see it here in person, but on the camera, it looks already dull. But these are so cute! I have to take a picture. Uh, oh, it's so funny. Look at my previous set of nails that I did, are also glowing. Yeah, why is it not picking up on camera? Oh, that's all right, but yeah, guys, these are so cute! Oh my goodness, let me show you guys again so stinking cute i absolutely love it so yeah i just wanted to do a really quick simple mani for you guys i just wanted to have something on my nails i just popped them off and i have an important um another important meeting that i need to go to so i hope you all enjoyed the video let me know when was the last time you guys did a basic gel mani on your natural nails for me it's been i'm sure it's been over a year since i've done this so i did put that peel off base coat underneath i'll let you guys know how long that holds up um uh, but i'm loving it it's, it's nice to just be able to wear your natural nails from time to time okay happy people i'm back with a one week update and i just want to let you guys know how these nails are holding up um well actually it's not been a full week i applied these on monday and it is now friday so they're they're hanging on but they're ready to come off so you guys know i did apply my peel off base coat with this set um but this is what the nails are looking like they're still good there's not been really too much um, chipping by the way of the nail polish or anything like that but there is severe lifting you guys like this nail has been holding on for dear life for a couple of days now I'm actually shocked it didn't come off this crack just took place like today as well as on this hand like it it started lifting a little bit then it got caught on something so I mean the nails are ready to come off but honestly it only did that on two of the nails there's like a little bit of lifting right here and smidge of lifting over here um but that's the reason that i put my peel off base coat on is because i want an easy removal process i'm shocked on this hand there's not been much lifting at all so um i would have expected it i would have expected more lifting on this hand because because it is my dominant hand but um i had more lifting on my left hand but i'm going to show you guys how easy it is to remove this gel polish um with that peel off base but you really just peel it off like it's kind of like a sticker almost so yeah, it just pops right on off and i like this because i don't have to worry about soaking my nails off right like one of the things that I remember not really enjoying too much when I did do my gel manis was soaking off and so this peel off base coat allows me an opportunity to be able to wear my nail sets and then just literally just pop them off or peel them off what they call it popping peelies <laughs> so yeah you literally just gonna go through and just peel off the uh, gel polish so it looks just like this and yeah it's peeling off real nicely you all see no real damage to the natural nails it's not harsh or anything like that you just peel it off nice and easy like so and then whatever little residue is left on here you just kind of like you rub it off um and you just find like a little lifted area and then just peel it right on off y'all see how quick it is to remove my nails i love it i love it so this one's lifting on the corner over on this side like so so then you just go through and peel it off like that same thing over here um, let's see it's so over here it's kind of lifting a bit so you just go ahead and peel it off like so mm -hmm. just like that and it comes right on off and I'll do that with all the nails you just find the part that's lifting and then slowly peel it off it's almost like peeling off a sticker I like it I feel like this hand was on a little bit better and probably could have lasted a little bit longer but I'm ready to change these nails out and do a set so again go ahead and peel it off like so mm -hmm. and I did rough up the surface of my nails so I think that's what allowed it to have some pretty good adhesion as well because normally after three days these would have popped off so I think because I roughed up the surface of my nails before I did my peel off base it um, lasted a few more days so yeah so now all the nails are off this is what all of it is looking like I'm gonna go ahead 
toss this in the trash because I don't need it anymore. But these are my pillies, okay? And then I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of acetone on all the all the nails just to clean off any additional residue that might have been left on the natural nail, like so. Lovely, and then from there, just go in with a little bit of cuticle oil. I'm gonna put that on all my nails, like so. And now you definitely wanna make sure you focus on the nail bed too, because um, you wanna make sure that stays nice, healthy, and hydrated as well. And yeah, y'all, now my nails are all nice and healthy. My natural nails are all nice, healthy, and ready to go for the next set. Um, I do think for my next set here, I'm gonna be using, y'all, I've been loving using e -nail Couture products, as you all can see, but I think for my next set, I'm gonna use the extra, extra long 24 karat coffin and my happy gel to apply them. And I'm gonna do me a quick, cute little gold set. So stay tuned to the channel. This video should be coming soon. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts. When was the last time you guys did a gel mani? It's been a while since I've worn one and it was nice to just kind of have my natural nails out and about, but I am ready for my next set, okay? So yeah, I'm gonna leave a link to all the products that I used to in today's video down in the description box below. And yeah, I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family i'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video i hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye